So after a season of not using the camper, I went ahead and plugged it in. I started to have smoke coming out of the uh, power box panel and quickly unplugged everything and took the panel cover off. And inside, this is the, uh, the, the bar for the common wires. Down here is the bar for the ground wires. And if you look closely, you can see that the screws are severely corroded. And uh, with that, it caused increased resistance and smoked up everything inside. This is going to be a job. Had I not stayed around the camper, this would have been a catastrophic event. Because campers don't survive fires very well. Each of these wires were tapped into the bus bar. Unsure really at this point if there's uh, signs of corrosion from some of the intense heat on copper changes its presentation in the exterior there. Close-up shot of the bus bar in question. Come out here in the light. The one that's empty is the one that had the 10 gauge wire, which is the one that travels down to the plug, completes the circuit. The 10 gauge black is the one that goes into the 30 amp breaker in the panel. If you notice that the screws that have the most corrosion or rust on them is the one that had the 10 gauge wire, so that's where everything connects into. And so, the camper that runs 30 amps, a lot of people run a multitude of accessories. Anywhere from the water heater can draw like a thousand to twelve hundred watts. I believe the refrigerator is about six hundred watts. The battery charger, when the battery is very low, will put up to a thousand watts. So right there with just those three things, you're looking at like twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight hundred watts. Okay, I'm leaving.